We are here with another artist. This is the second Saturday, February 11th at The Bad Astronaut, the one and only Bad Astronaut here in Houston, Texas. I'm here with another one of our beautiful artists, and you can see some of her beautiful art right behind me. I'm here with Crystal. Crystal, can you tell us um, a little bit about yourself? I'm Crystal Braden. I'm based here in Houston, Texas. I paint with oils and acrylics. I love to paint my travel memories and places I've been. And uh, I just want to share the good vibes and my art with everyone. I love that. And I, you can definitely feel the energy in your art. Of course, and thank you. Um, I can share this one. This is from Tulum. I went on a girls trip a couple years back, took a bunch of photos, and as I was going to look back through the photos, um, I really like this palm tree. Um, I feel like the colors share, like what a good time we have. Very I, I love that. And so you said, you, do you ever paint live in these places? I prefer photos because you can paint like, you know, indoor in the climate controlled environment, but I have done plein air art before where you take, you know, I take my paints and easel and everything and set up outside and paint different areas. My mother's an artist and I come from a whole family full of artists, so this is how I grew up. This is like how I was entertained as a child. Here, here's some paints, paint. So I've always painted, I've only, I've only recently started to sell them to share because the paint, the art, paintings were piling up in my house, just stacked and they need to be on someone's wall, right? So someone can, uh, you know, love them, appreciate them, and want to put them up in their house. Uh, that, that's something I'd be very happy to see. Yeah, because I think anybody can create art. You know, I always hear a lot of people like, oh no, well I can't draw, I can't paint. But you can still create art just because you can't make something that you go see in the museum, like you go see that Monet or Picasso. Just, just because you can't paint like that doesn't mean you're not an artist. You need to find your own style, your own medium. It doesn't have to be, uh, be paints. It could be drawing. It could be digital art. You know, it could be like, you know, clothing, design, digital, yeah, any Thing like that so everyone just needs to find their own art that makes them happy that is so wise and so what kind of things inspire you as far as creating the art while you're creating it what I mean is like some of the people uh, we've interviewed them before say they like music or they like certain ambiances so what kind of things do you like when you're creating so I think um, I'm influenced most by travel memories so I try to kind of recreate the, the feelings that you have. You know, when you're on vacation, you're having a good time, or even if, like if you're local, you're in a place that makes you happy and you have the good memories. So I try to recreate the, the good, the feeling you have from good memories in the paintings. How deep into that do you get? Like, like if it's an ocean scene like that, right? Do you get the ocean sounds? Do you get some water from Galveston splashing in your face? Like how deep do you get into this? Oh, not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> like, the picture's good enough, that's what I needed to make this art. I love that. We're just looking from the picture, because you know, I had the visual trigger. No, no need to get the whole, like, you know, ex jungle experience. No, like, you know, wild cat to, like, come and hunt me while I paint, or, you know. <laughs> get the Jumanji experience happening, right? Now, you just inspired me to ask another question. Does, do things kind of manifest on their own sometimes? Are you kind of going into something like with one thought and then it totally takes a left turn? Oh, that absolutely happens. Like something I envision I have in my mind, I start painting, I'm like, well, that looks like I have in my head, but I kind of like it, so I'm just gonna roll with it. How, how, how often does that happen? A lot. I think, I think most artists can maybe identify with, a, you know, a painting, the vision they initially have not really working out and then you have to decide what am I going to do with this and I'm going to scrap it and start over and am I, am I going to roll with it? It's kind of like life. Ooh, it's a metaphor for life. I love that. So what is that determining factor to say scrap it versus keep going with it? Uh, I say, for me it's a gut feeling. Like I feel like I'm continuously getting better and um, you know I'm glad people like my art and you know I really like having people come and view and yeah, yeah check it out and uh, yeah I hope I continue to improve. Beautiful. So um, how do you feel about the second Saturday? I mean, did, did you like being here at Bad Astronaut? Do you want to come back? What, what, what were your thoughts about this whole experience? Yeah, it's a super cool venue. This is my first time here. I've never been here before. I just live not, not too far away. I'll definitely be back. Um, yeah, it's a good ambience, good music, good vibes. Like, this has been like a super great market. I'm really happy to be here. Love it. And we love having you here, too. Um, so one more question before I let you go. This is just a random thing I've been asking all the artists. And I want you to just shoot from the hip. Don't think too much. What is your favorite color? Blue. Wow. You know what the best part about that was? I thought I was going to stump some of these artists or make them go, uh. But no, all of y'all answered immediately. Why blue? OK, so I'm going to clarify. Uh, blue, blue on things, red to wear. So it's more about the, yeah, I've noticed that. There is a lot of, yeah, a lot of blues, purples. Yeah, it's very calming. There's a lot of shades of blues, you know. 
I just like it. it makes You're all about the calm and cool experience. Yeah, it's a happy colors. <laughs> I love that. That's what we're going to end on, happy colors. Well, once again, where can we see your art? Where can we buy some of your art? How can we get in touch with you? Uh, my Instagram is Crystal Braden Art. Uh, same for Facebook and TikTok. I was in Winter Street, which is closed, so now I'm kind of all over the place. So I've always posted on Instagram where I'm at. And uh, hopefully I'll be here next month. Awesome. You definitely will. All right. Well, you heard it first, folks. Thank you once again.